This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Then, as Christ said, you are to live to honor Christ. You are to live to honor Christ. And I, I, I love what, what happens in Revelation. We are given this glimpse of worship in heaven. And by the way, when people say, oh, you know, I'm not sure I want to go to heaven because all we're going to do is sit around. It's going to be like one big church service. And you know how boring those are. Um, but that's not true. There's going to be worship in heaven, but we're also going to have responsibilities and, and, and roles to play and, and have things that we have to do in heaven. But one of the very key things, one of the important things that happens in heaven is worship. And worship is the acknowledgement of God for who he is and uh, all of the demands that that makes on my life. And so what happens in, in Revelation, it reveals, gives us some insight as to what, what worship is. And I want you to key in on some of these things. Uh, Revelation chapter 5, starting with verse 11. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders the voices of many angels, numbering myriads of myriads and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth. That's a reference to hell. I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Did you know that there's going to be worship in hell? It's going to be empty worship because there's no response. There's no relationship. There's no fellowship with Christ. But people in hell are going to acknowledge that God is who he says he is and, and that he accomplished what he said he was going to accomplish. Now, if that's how heaven thinks of Jesus, as we see in this passage, shouldn't we think and live that way also? Now? I mean, if that's the way that we are going to think and, 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 and be in heaven, shouldn't we start worshiping God now and acknowledging his, his, his power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing? Yes, we should. That's a responsibility that we have to do now. Now. 